Hi again, YouTubers. So this is going to be my, let's think this through, February through March 15th favorites of the month. And I'm doing something a little bit different this month, or I'm attempting to. I am going to actually put the products on. This is the finished look. It's just a quick and easy this month. I have been just like very few brushes and just trying to do it as quick as I possibly can. Um, I've not been taking a lot of time. I've just been really busy. So uh, a lot of people had said to me, oh, can you try, you know, putting it on your favorite face of the month, things like that. And I don't know, you guys know me, I don't edit, like I'm not good at that whole part of this. Like I'm good at taping videos, I'm good at telling you, you know, about products, but I am not good at doing the whole editing and, you know, like how some people can take out parts and add parts in. I just kind of go straight through. So what you see is what you get. And I think I said through this video a hundred times, I hope this stayed in the shot. Sorry if it didn't. And so sorry if that gets annoying, but I kept thinking that because it was the first time I was doing this uh, type of video. So um, I hope you enjoy this. I hope it helps you out. Uh, I hope you like the process of doing it where I actually put the products on as opposed to just showing you the products. Um, I can't guarantee I'll be able to do this every month uh, if I don't have the time, but if I do have the time, I will try to do this. Um, pretty much every month if I can. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy this and let me know if you have any questions. All right, so we're gonna have a go with this. Um, I did not pull anything out, so I'm just gonna pull it out as I go and tell you things that I tend to use. Um, the first thing I've been using this month is the Blu-ray High Definition Oil-Free Mattifier. I just get a little bit of that on my fingers. You have to shake it up. I just get a little bit, rub it together and I rub it all over. The only place I don't tend to put this is on my eyelids, but everywhere else I put it. Alrighty, next thing I am going to grab for is my Chanel. Now I've been grabbing for three different foundations a lot this month. This one probably being my favorite, but the other two that I've been grabbing a lot for to try are the Estee Lauder Double Wear Light and the regular Estee Lauder. Again, with this, I primarily just put a little bit on my fingers. I actually just put too much. I tap it in, and then I smooth it all over. Smooth it down my neck, anywhere that I kind of need it. Sorry, I forgot I have a mirror down here now. <laughs> all right. Make sure when you do this, by the way, your hands are sanitized beforehand. Mine are. Washed them right beforehand. Then I take my F80 and I just do a quick buffing. Make sure there's no streaks, no lines, no issues. Um, I tend to take the Benefit Eye Bright. I only put it where I have some darkness, like really bad darkness. My allergies have been getting me this month. Oh, I need to sharpen it. My allergies have been getting me pretty bad this month, so I've been needing it more than usual. I just tap this in really, really lightly. Then I tend to use the Garnier Roller Ball. I just roll it around under my eyes. And then I use the same fingers. And I tap it in. If I feel like I need a little bit extra coverage, I grab usually my Vichy Derma Blend. My eyes are just not doing it lately, guys. Like, they are just a mess. Like, literally, that little dot that I just put there is all I need. Or all of my eye. And I have a little spot over here, so I take a little bit of that on my finger. This has been my quick and easy, by the way, version. I have not been taking much time for my makeup lately. If I have any little spots. Now I will say the interesting part, this has pretty good coverage, but when I wear the double wear, I do not need this at all. Um, 
Next thing is one of two things. They're pretty much interchangeable to me, which I realize now that I have them, is the Studio Fix powder and the Meteorites. Um, I'm going to go for the Studio Fix ones. I have been using this little Kabuki from Coastal Scents. It's just pink Kabuki, no name on it. I just put this on my forehead and down my nose. Just a light dusting of it. That's it. Um, you know what, actually, my eyes should be using this under my eyes, but sometimes I, if I'm doing something else like a mineral powder, I'll put that under my eyes. But I am not doing that today. The next thing I've been using is the Bare Essentials Warmth. I just get a little bit of this. I use the same brush, that same Kabuki. I swirl it around in the cap and I start right here and kind of make that same three and E they call it. Oops. Mine's not got much left in it anymore. Make sure it blends down through my neck. And then I just kind of do a quick once over everywhere else. forehead needs just a little bit more. That's it for that. And then I take a blush and I have been loving this and I know you can't get it and I'm sorry but I have been loving it and it's what I've been using this month. The Guerlain Series G blush. And the thing I really like about this too is that honestly I just use, I've been in this like quick mode lately and I just use the same, I just roll, roll it in there, use the same Kabuki and I just put it on my cheeks because it also has a nice shine to it and I just buff it in. And then I usually go over it all with the same F80 just to blend it all in. Put a little bit on my forehead. My hair is going to be down today, so that's it for that one. Then, oh, I didn't think of this. Whoops. Didn't think of this. Needed these things. i grab a couple things from here. Where is it? Whoops. There we go. Sorry, I had to move my mirror. I have then been using my Urban Decay Professional Size Primer Potion. These things are really hard to squeeze, so I just squeeze up a little bit. I dot it on each eye, and if I need more, I go back and get it. And I just use that same ring finger. And by the way, when I'm getting ready, I don't have any jewelry on, so you're not going to see my rings or my earrings or any of those things because I don't usually have them on while I'm getting ready. And I'm giving this a try. See how it works out. And I just go a little bit under my eye, too, just for the sake of if I put anything there. So... The next thing I tend to go to, oops, is actually my eyeshadow, which I'm trying to, for some reason this month, I have been grabbing for just my MAC palette that I, that has all different colors in it that I've been keeping in my eyeshadow drawer, and I've been using the E55, it's a flat top brush, hoping this is showing in the camera, because this is the first time doing it and I don't know how it's working, because I can't see anything. And I just put this on my lid. Oh, I guess I should have told you what color it was. I just pat it on. It is, this is a brulee or bisque. I always forget which one this is. Bisque. This is what it looks like. Um, and then I tend to put on the same brush, grain. I do know it's grain. Just up as a highlight. I don't want something with a whole lot of shimmer in it. Only because, sorry, uh, only because the shadow that I've been using has a lot of shimmer, so I don't want a lot of shimmer up in my eyebrow. Plus I have this bump here, it's driving me crazy. Then, so I used bisque, hopefully this is showing in the camera. Then I used grain, oops, and now I'm going to use woodwinked, which is right here. Same brush, I just tap it into woodwinked on both sides of the brush, so I'm just going like this. And then I tap it on the outer half of my eye and a little bit up into my crease. I tap off my brush too. You can't, I tend to tap it on my finger so you're not really hearing it much, but just put a 
little bit up into the crease but I don't go all the way over into the middle corner then I take a brush this is an E25 and then I just blend this out this is like my everyday quick and simple do nothing type of shadow look and I just blend this out until I feel comfortable with it that it doesn't look too shiny it doesn't look like it's sitting in any one area too much that it's blended across my lid all of those good things this one spot there there we go so well, that's pretty much it for the shadow then I do my eyebrows and I've been using this Revlon brow fantasy it has a pencil and a gel brunette this is what it looks like I tend to take the gel side first and I just and I hope this is staying in the shot sorry if it isn't guys I just take it over my brows kind of quickly again this month for some reason I have been into this super quick way of getting ready I have not been in the mood to take a lot of time and I've been really really doing simple looks nothing too much it's been a crazy month for some reason and I don't have much, as you could see before I did this, going down the outside edges. So I just kind of fill that in a little bit if I need to. Fill in the beginning. This side over here does not have as much on the inner side. Uh, close enough. It's easier to do when I'm sitting closer to the mirror, but that'll do. It's fine. Put that away. Uh, the next thing I'm going to go for, jeez, I keep doing it, is my Milani Liquid Fi Brown Liner. Oops, mirror's out of whack. I go up under my waterline with this. Wow, that bump is really bad, getting bad on my eye. Just kind of go like this. Getting it into the lash line really good. Then the next thing I've been doing, and I honestly can't even remember where I learned this, but it's the greatest tip because my, I can't use gel liners very much because when I do, they transfer up into my crease and it looks horrible, but this liner stays on me amazingly. And I have been using the E65, which is just a small angled brush, and I've actually been just rubbing it on the edges of the Milani. Then I take this, and let's see if I can do it from afar. I actually am just drawing on a top liner. Now I don't tend to go all the way over. And then I kind of continue it down here a little bit, just blending it so it's not as harsh on the bottom line. And I don't go all the way over on the bottom either. So, then I do the same thing for the other side. Get some on the brush. I'm really hoping this is staying in the shot. Because we all know I don't edit, so I'm not going to redo this. I just kind of keep going back and forth until I feel like it's where I want it to be again for my morning quick whatever it's been fine then on to mascara um, let's see. actually you know what I'm gonna do this first I have been using this just a pinch gel blush from Mac it was a limited edition but there are all kinds of things out there like this you can use cream color bases. You can use other gel. Sorry, blushes from other companies. You can use lip stains. They do the same thing. So I've been using that. So on to mascara. And I always curl my lashes. I usually just hold it for about 10 seconds. And then I pump it like five times. And I have been using the Clinique Bottom Lash and the Clinique High Impact Mascara. 
I do my bottom lashes first. I hope this is in the shot. Sorry, guys. And see. Got a little bit right there. And um, the reason I do my bottom lashes first is because I tend to, if I do them second, my eyelashes end up leaving a line on the top of my eye. And it looks like I have mascara up here. And it just is a mess. Nothing special. Just quick and easy. And then I do the other eye. And then I'll do gloss. And then I do my hair afterwards. I pull my hair back in a ponytail or up in a clip while I'm doing it. While I'm doing my makeup just to keep it off my face. ones and then almost done you guys will have to let me know what you think of this whole video if this is a good idea or not if you like it because I don't edit if you think it's a good idea to continue on for my middle of the month this side I always have more trouble with my mascara than the other side my, lash, my eyelashes are stubborn on this side for some reason so it always takes just a little bit more to get them not right because that's not the right term but get them okay. Then I just grab a gloss, which of this. I don't want that one. Okay, I'm going to use Chanel Twinks, I think it is called. I just put a little bit on, just for a little bit of color and shine. if that's affecting the lighting when it goes like that and that's pretty much it I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with my hair yet but that's my quick and easy face of the day during the month um, I hope you guys enjoyed this let me know if you have any questions and just let me know what you think of it thanks so much for watching guys and have a great day bye